So you successfully trimmed down your video clip and turned it into a series of images. The next step is to open GIMP. Be greeted with a blank project. Go to File, Open as Layers, locate the folder you stored all of your images in, and select all of them and go to open. Depending on the number of frames you have, this can take a varying amount of time. Once that's done, you need to scale your image. Now mine's bigger than 500 width pixels, so the way to adjust that is to go to image, scale image, and under image size width adjust this number to be 500. Now you want to make sure that the chain link looks like this so that both image width and image height change depending on the other to keep the same ratio. Now go to scale And notice now that my resolution is 500 by 281. And the next thing you want to do to see your GIF, go to Filters, Animation, and Playback. This will give you a demonstration of what your GIF will look like. Press the Play button to play yours. And that looks pretty good but it was a little bit choppy. The way to fix that is to go to Filters, Animation, Optimize for GIF. This will bring up a new GIMP window. And each of the images only contains the changes between the image being displayed and the previous image. Now I will look at it again by going to Filters, Animation, Playback, and demonstrate it. That looks a little bit better. The good thing about Optimize for GIF is that it adjusts the file size so it's a bit smaller so that only the changes are tracked between frame to frame instead of including an entire image. So it cuts down on file size. Now you're ready for the next step, exporting your GIF.